Because in a moment, we're going to batch capture these. On the capture settings, there's a general tab here, the very first place you see. The second check mark down says activate bin window after capture. Now think about this. Every time that I'm doing this from the keyboard, it actually activates the bin. This is very frustrating because it now means I have to reach and grab my mouse. If I turn off this setting, every time that I go to capture something or log something, it'll leave me in the capture tool, meaning I don't have to take my hands off the keyboard. Let's take a quick look at this. So I'm going to turn that off and say OK. And here I am on the tape. I'm going to use JKL and I'm going to play through this. And entirely from my keyboard, I'm going to hit play. I'm going to mark an in. I'm going to mark an out. I'm going to hit the tab key and call this close up machine. I'm going to hit F4. You'll notice the moment I hit F4, it's in the bin and I'm still in the capture tool. In point, out point on another clip, tab three machines, F4. So the idea is I can log all these clips without ever having to take my hand off the keyboard. I will go through an entire tape like this. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that I don't have the footage in my machine yet. That's absolutely right. If I take a look here at Source Record Toolset, we're going to batch capture them in the next section. As you can see here, I have currently four clips that are offline and th two clips that are online. I'm actually just going to lasso them all. For those of you who know keyboard commands for Select All, that's Control A on a PC, that's Command A on the Macintosh. I'd like you to see, I'm going to go up here to the clip menu and choose batch capture. Now, here's what batch capture is going to do. It's going to sit back and it's going to go through the tape and just bring in the footage I don't have. I choose batch capture, it automatically opens up the capture tool and it gives me a choice. Do I want to bring in all the media or just what's offline? Now since I've got about four clips that aren't online, I'll just say bring in only the offline media. The moment I hit OK, it's going to sit back and it's going to capture in each of these pieces, going to the tape, searching through the pre-roll time, pre-roll point for each piece of time code. And as each clip gets captured, you'll see it appear behind us in the capture tool. So it's right now capturing the first clip, it's searching for the pre-roll, which is at 340.10. We can see it's at 340.34, that's six seconds before, and it's starting to capture that clip. You can see it capture in my system. Zero done, zero skipped, four left for about one minute. Once it finishes the first clip, it becomes, it's complete and it's going to the next item. It'll capture all four of our clips, searching for the pre-roll each time and capturing it. After about a minute or two of this, we'll have all of them into our system. Okay, so we've captured those clips in. I'd like you to see they're now all online, all available to me. I've actually quickly created a timeline. It's not what I would consider the most artistic timeline, but it's a timeline nevertheless. And it has quite a bit of footage in it, but I'd like you to see it doesn't have every piece of footage that I happen to use in my project. What I'd like you to hear is this. If I select my sequence and I choose batch capture, I get a little bit different of a choice. And this choice is handles. You see, when you go and you recapture something, maybe you captured it at a very low resolution, and now we're coming back to capture at a higher resolution. And the point is, you don't want it to capture everything. You want it only to capture with what you used. But you want to use a little bit extra handle, just like when we talked about trimming at the beginning of ends of every clip. And you have the option here to choose how much handle length it ought to bring in. You can also say, only bring in media I have. Or, only, or bring in everything. This can also, there's a batch import feature that does a similar sort of feature for imports. So the idea is you select a sequence and you just recapture what you used rather than everything. The beauty of this is, is a year from now you can come back to a show and if you have the tapes, you technically have a backup of your whole project. And this is why it's really important to name your clips well and name your sequence as well. Because when you come back to something a year later, you want to make sure that it comes in with the least amount of pain and the least amount of difficulty. So again, we can use batch capture on sequences and we have the option of having it to automatically add just a little bit beyond of what's actually in the sequence 
rather than capturing the entire clip.